Let's get started with the questions. The question was something like this. Form a committee of seven members using six men and five women such that the committee consists of any seven members. Now, the committee must consist of how many? Any seven members. So, dealing with the language part, any seven members is nothing but selecting seven people out of total of how many people? Six men and five women. Selecting seven people out of total of six and five, eleven is nothing but eleven C seven. Exactly two men. In permutations and combinations, we start from the condition that is given to us. What is the condition that is given to us? That the number of men in the committee of seven must be exactly two, meaning neither more than two nor less than two. So let me deal with the language part first. When I have exactly two men. How many women will I have to form a committee of seven? I'll have five women. What will be the conjunction in between here? And or or? To form a seven member committee, I should have two men and five women. So, how many different ways can you select two men out of total of six men? Two, C, six. In and represents multiplication operation. And in how many different ways can we select 5 women out of total of 5 women? 5C, five, 5. Going ahead with the calculations. Calculation is simple. N factorial divided by N minus R factorial into R factorial. I directly strike it off. I write 6 into 5. 6 minus 2 is 4. 4 factorial I got. I have striked it off. So I will be remaining with 2 factorial in the denominator. 2 factorial is nothing but 2 into 1. I would like to strike it off with two ones and two threes. Five into three gives me a fifteen. And five C five N C N is nothing but one. So how many different ways they can be arranged? Fifteen ways. The next question that we have here is at least three women. In permutation and combination, like I said, we'll start from where? We'll start from the condition that is given to us. Condition says at least three women. At least meaning the number of women can be greater than 3 or equals to 3 but it cannot be less than 3. At least 3 women should be there in the committee of 7. So I will start with the language part first. The committee can have 3 women. If it has 3 women, how many men will it have? It will have 4 men. Or I can have... Four women and three men or five women and two men or six women. How many women do we have in total? We have only five women. Where did you get the sixth woman from? So we have to stop. We have to know where we have to stop. So, selecting three women out of total of six, out of total of five women that is given to us can be done in how many different ways? Three, C, five. And represents multiplication. Selecting four men out of total of six men can be done in four, C, six. Or represents addition operation. Be careful. We have to represent it, represent it with the addition operation. Selecting four women out of total of five women can be done in 5C4 and represents multiplication 6C3 or plus 5C5 is 1 and represents multiplication and 6C2. And some simple calculations to reach to our answer. At most 3 men. Starting with the language part. Condition given is at most 3 men. Meaning what? Maximum number of men that I can have is 3 in a committee of 7. So if there are 3 men. How many women will be there? Four women. Or I can have two men. When I have two men, how many women will I have? I'll have five women. Or when I have one man, how many women do I have? I have only five women. So I have to stop here. So this is nothing but selecting three people. 3 men out of total of 6 men and it can be done in how many different ways? 6C3 and represents multiplication, 5C4 or represents plus 2, 6C2 and represents multiplication and 5C5 is nothing but 
1. With some simple calculations that we have already learnt, we can arrive at the answer. Forming numbers is an important topic. These questions, the questions on forming numbers can be twisted and turned and asked in many different ways. When it comes to placement training, the significance of this topic is more. So let's equip ourselves with necessary arsenal to solve any question that we come across forming numbers. I give you two digits, three and four. And I ask you to form numbers using digits three and four. How many numbers can you form? Please pause the video here and give it a try. Many of you would have stopped after forming 33, 44, 34 and 43. Yes. But what is stopping you from writing 333 or 434 or for that matter a single digit 4 or a single digit 3? So how many such numbers can you form? You can form infinite number of numbers. Why? Did I give you any condition? I just gave you two digits. When no condition is given, you can form infinite number of numbers. My next question goes something like this. How many two digit numbers can be formed using digits 3, 4 and 5? Here we will be solving two cases. One is without repetition where you cannot use the number that you have used. The other one is with repetition. That is the number that you have used once can be used again. In your examination you will be asked one among these either either one among these questions. Okay. Let's start with it. Without repetition I cannot use the number that I have used remember. So how many different numbers can I form? Numbers can be 34. 35, let's go in a sequence, 43, 45, 53, 54. Do you see any repetition? No. So how many numbers can be formed? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 numbers can be formed. Now in with repetition case, I can use the number that I've used, but all these 6 numbers will come here as well. Other than these 6, which other 3 numbers will come? There will be 33, 44 and 55. So I could add 3 more combinations in with repetition case where I can use the number that I have used. So totally together 6 and 3 I can form 9 different numbers. This is comparatively an easy question. But what if my question is something like this? Now, the question here is, using digits from 4 to 9, how many 4 digit numbers can be formed such that there is no repetition, that is without repetition, and repetition is allowed. Can I start writing numbers, that is combinations like I did in the previous case here? No, it would take an eternity to write those in a sequence. Yes. So how do we go about it? Let's take up the previous easy question and try to understand the way we are going to deal with these type of questions. Now, how many two digit numbers can be formed using two digi uh, digits 3, 4 and 5? So to form a two digit number, how many blank spaces do I need? I need two blank spaces. I'll be solving both the cases simultaneously to develop a better understanding. So please pay attention. Now, Two, two blank spaces are required to form a two digit number. Now, what are the numbers that I have? 3, 4 and 5. So, I can fill my units place in how many different ways? I can fill it either using 3, 4 or 5. I can fill it in 3 different ways. 3 here is the number of ways which in which I can fill my units place. So, if I have used up one number among these 3, let's say I used up 4. I cannot use the 4 again here. So how many different ways can I fill the 10's place in? I can fill it in 2 different ways. That is using either a 3 or a 5. 3 into 2 gives me 6 ways. Which is exactly what I have got here. Coming to with repetition case. Here repetition is allowed. That is I can use the number that I have used again. Now how many different ways can I fill the units place in? I can either use a 
3 or a 4 or a 5. So I can fill it in 3 different ways. I am reminding you again. This is about the number of ways I can fill the units place using 3, 4 or a 5. Now I can use the number that I have used in units place. So how many different ways can I fill the tens place in? I can again fill it in 3 different ways. 3 into 3 gives me a 9. 9 ways which is exactly what I have got here. Now coming back to our question and we will use the method that we have learnt. Now, I always tell you that we are always going to start with the condition that is given to us in permutation and combination. The condition that is given to us here is I have to form a four digit number. Now, to form a four digit number, how many blank spaces do I need? I need four blank spaces that I have taken here. Here as well, I will need four blank spaces. Now, from four to nine, how many digits do I have? Four, five, six, seven. 8 and 9. I have in total 6 digits. So, I can fill my units place in how many different ways? I can either use a 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 or a 9. So, I can fill it in 6 different ways. Now, I cannot use the number that I have used. Let's say I have used up 7. I cannot use 7 in the tens place. So, how many different ways can I fill the tens place in? I can fill it using 4, 5, 6, 8 or 9. I can fill it in how many ways? I can fill it in 5 ways. Next, now I would have used up, say I used up 6. So, I will be left out with how many? 4. Next, 3. Now, coming to our with repetition case. So, in how many different ways can I fill my units place in? I can fill it using these 6 numbers that I have. So, I can fill it in 6 different ways. Now, with repetition meaning repetition is allowed and I can use the number that I have used in the units place. So, how many different ways can I fill it? Again, 6 different ways. I can use the number again and again so I can fill each blank in 6, 6, 6, 6 different ways. So, this gives me 6 into 6, 36 and again 36 here. 36 into 36 is 1, 2, 9, 6 ways. The next question that we have here is using digits from 4 to 9, how many 4 digit numbers greater than 6000 can be formed such that two cases we will be solving simultaneously here without repetition and with repetition. In case of without repetition, we cannot use the number that we have used. From 4 to 9, how many numbers do I have? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. Now start thinking, where do I start from? From the units place or the thousands place? I have to start from the thousands place because for any number to be greater than 6000, in the thousands place, I should have a digit which is either 6 or greater than 6. That is, I can use 6 or greater than 6. So, I can fill my thousands place in how many different ways? I can fill it in 4 different ways. Now, let's say I have used up one number among these 6 numbers available to me. So, in how many different ways can I fill the next blank in? That is my hundreds place can be filled in five different ways. Next, four. Next, three. So this gives me five into four is twenty here. Four into three is twelve. Twelve into two is twenty-four. And because I have a zero, it will be two hundred and forty ways. In with repetition case. So again, I'll start with my thousands place, where I can fill it using numbers greater than six or equals to six. So how many different ways can I fill it? either using 6, 7, 8 or 9. So, I can fill it in 4 different ways. But here, repetition is allowed. So, I can use the number that I have used in my thousands place. So, how many different ways can I fill my hundreds place in? 6 different ways. Tens place in 6. Units in 6. So, this gives me how much? 6 into 4 is 24 and 6 into 6 is 36. If I multiply it using the method that we have learnt, it gives me how much? 6 into 4, 24, 4, 2, 4, 3, 12, 12, 6 and 2, 3 and 2 is 6 and 2, 864. So, 864 ways. Now, if you were wondering how I multiplied this, please go back to Abhilash Varma's speed math classes and you can learn the method that I have used here. Using digits from 4 to 9, how many 4 digit even numbers can be formed such that repetition is not allowed, that is without repetition and repetition is allowed. We will be solving both the cases simultaneously. Now, 
We start from where? We'll start from the condition that is given to us. What is the condition? Four digit number and it must be an even number. To form a four digit number, how many blank spaces do I need? I need four blank spaces that I've taken here. For any number to be an even number, start thinking, what is the prerequisite? In the units place, if I have an even number, then the entire number will be called a even number. So, I have digits from 4 to 9. Out of these digits, what are my even numbers? My even numbers are 4, 6 and 8. So, how many different ways can I fill my units place in? I can fill it in three different ways, either using a 4, 6 or a 8. Now, I say, let's say I have used up 6 here. So, total out of the 6 numbers, how many numbers will I be left out with? I will be left out with 5 numbers. So, I can fill this blank in how many different ways? I can fill it in 5 different ways. Now, 2 numbers I have used up out of the total of 6. I will be left with 4 and next is 3. With some simple calculation, 5 into 4 is 20 here, 3 into 3 is 9. 20 gives me 180 ways. And with repetition case, similarly, the units place can be filled in how many different ways? Either using a 4, 6 or a 8. So, I can fill it in 3 different ways. Now, I can use the number that I have used here. Meaning, I can repetitively, let's say I have used 8 here. So, I can use 8 here, here, here. Yes, all the 3 places can be filled by 8. That is, repetition is allowed. So, how many different ways can I fill the next place in? 6, 6 and 6. So, 6 into 6 is 36. Into 6 into 3 is 18. With the calculation, 36 into 18. 6 into 8 is 48, 8 and 4, 8, 3, 24 and 6, uh, that gives me 30 and I have a 4 here, 4, 3, 1, 6, 648 ways. The difficulty level of questions on forming numbers can be increased by adding conditions. I have one such question for you which is an amalgamation of divisibility rules from the number system and the concept that we have just learned that is forming numbers. Let's have a look at it. How many six digit numbers can be formed using digits from 1 to 6 without repetition such that the number in the unit digit can divide the entire number? Give it a try. If not, we will be taking up such type of questions in our advanced courses. If you want to watch more free videos, download our app lol from the play store and if you have benefited by the videos you just watched do like and share them and do not forget to subscribe to our channel for more updates if you have any queries or doubts please do drop them in the comment section you can also reach out to me or my team through any of the social media platforms like facebook or instagram the link for which is provided in the description below you can also get latest updates about upcoming examinations and our new courses on our social media platforms